They sacrificed everything. They pretty much gave up their life in Australia. They just said, oh, we'll, we'll take him out and just see how he goes for a year. And um, living in a caravan for, for three years was tough. First year I killed it, so it was, um, it was funny. You know, the first, that, that first three years, I went from like the bottom of the sport to like the, the, the top of the sport in the UK. My dad got sick like January 2010. I mentally rehearsed everything. He'd died in my head like a hundred times. And we'd been to hospital and you know, we'd been to the funeral place and we'd you know, done this and we'd booked that and all that sort of stuff. And I went through that all in my head. So when he actually passed away, it was just like I was playing a role because you know, I'd already been through it so many times. I actually took that and did that with Speedway as well. I've accepted the fact what can happen. And you know, I think that makes me probably take maybe a little bit more risk than others because I'm not worried about it. I've got an opportunity to do what I love. Go and do it, and do it the best you can. You know, don't go out there and do 99% because you might as well not be there. When that happened, that was kind of like the turning point in my life and, and my career. Um, you know, it's a shame that it took my dad dying to for me to grow up and to do that. And you know, if he was still here, would I still would he be sat here being? you know, two times world champ or, you know, it's all, you, you always wonder, you know, what if. It's amazing what I've, what, I've, what I've done in my career and I'm sure he's watching me down on me anyway, so. The thing for me, when I get to the start, there's nothing in my head, like nothing at all. When I make a start and I'm in front, I genuinely don't think anyone can pass me. I still kind of see myself as that young kid that's just cruising, you know, and having fun racing my dirt bike and uh, yeah, to think that I'm the best at what I do is unreal. <laughs>